Hey, this is Sipu Gus. Thank you for tuning in today. I'm glad you guys are spending time with us. Um, I'm excited about uh, what we're sharing today. Today we're sharing the second part of the Baduan Jin, um, and uh, we are sharing uh, a show that I did called Are You Safe? It's really, really cool. We're gonna share uh, not the whole episode, but we're gonna share a part of it. I hope you'll go to the playlist and look for the episodes. There are eight episodes of Are You Safe? We're gonna be talking about healing and basically how to take care of yourself. Healing, self-protection. I love what we're doing with this channel. Thank you guys for uh, the love that we've been getting. Our numbers have been getting up there and I appreciate that. We're trying to do our best, right? Um, but before we get started, if you can do me a favor and like and subscribe and share this with people. Maybe someone will find this interesting as much as you do. So Qigong is a huge part of our combat of training. Um, although we hit, punch, kick, and throw each other around, the healing component is extremely important to what we do because of the amount of force that we, uh, the trauma our body can go through with this type of training. So we, my favorite uh, practice is the Ba Duan Jin. That's my favorite Qigong practice. And we're gonna share, uh, we shared on the last episode, we shared the first one. Now we're gonna share the next one. This one is called Raising the Hands. And so this one is good for stomach and spleen cultivation and balance. So check this one out. This was called Raising the Hands. So now we're going to the self-defense aspect. Everyone should know some form of self-protection. Even if you don't want to become a Kung Fu master, but what you can do is you can learn quick tips that may save your life or the life of your loved ones. Well, here's one right here for you. It's very quick. If you want to watch the full episode, make sure you go to the playlist and look for Are You Safe? There are eight episodes like I mentioned before. But this one is about exits and knowing how to get yourself in and out of situations. I hope you enjoy it. If you have any other things in self-defense you wanna see, comment down below and then we can look forward to doing those things in the future. What's up, warriors? This is Sifu Gus from The Village and welcome to Are You Safe? What we're gonna be talking about today is your self-protection. Simple tips, simple tools that can keep you safe in a crazy situation or avoiding a situation. So one of the things I wanna do is I wanna give you digestible information that when you stop watching this video that you can start applying. So let's get deep. One of my favorite quotes is, every battle is won before it is fought. Sun Tzu, the art of war. So what we're gonna do is we're going to be talking today about your surroundings and exits. So one of the things I want you to have at the end of this video is a better understanding of your surroundings and places that you'll frequent. So uh, we could be talking places like your home, your work, school, the gym, grocery stores, and any other place that you may constantly go to daily or even weekly. I know it sounds crazy, but it's not a bad idea to do this. So let's say school, for instance. So there's classes that you frequently take. Do you know that it has one door or two doors? Is it just one door? Because if it has one door, then that tells me that you're gonna to have to have a different set of thinking. Uh, if it's two doors, then you have a possible exit. Now, this doesn't mean that 
it's gonna be anything crazy because any scenario can warrant you having to get out of a building very fast, okay? So also, too, when you're with someone, if I'm with a small child or if I'm with an elderly person, you know, I'm going to have to know my surroundings and know can I get them out of here at the same time. So these are things that you just have to think about when you are um, out and about. So let's talk about your home, okay? Um, this is not for sneaking out or anything like that. This is for an emergency. If uh, the front door uh, is an exit you cannot get out of, then do you know how to get out of your house? These things are always good to go over. Uh, you don't have to obsess about them, but it's just uh, information that you should know. Is it a garage? Is it a backyard? Uh, is it a window? Um, if someone is downstairs, how do you get out of the second story? These things are really, really important. The goal is to keep yourself safe. If you run through these things and should an emergency happen, then you won't be uh, caught off guard with them. So it is important to practice these things. For those who know me and for those who don't, I really, um, obviously I love combat of training. I love the combat that the Shaolin monks have uh, shared with us thousands of years ago. But I also like uh, the healing aspect because it's a life cultivation. And it's not about fighting the principles that you learn uh, with what we do, you can apply in everyday life. Strategies, learning how to overcome things like anxiety and depression and different things like that. Learn how to deal with them and learn how to cope. So learning internal training and external training, and this was two good examples today. Uh, the Baduan Jin is a good start. Just practice those two and then We'll move on from there. On the next episode, we're going to add the third, ep uh, third uh, movement from Ba Duan Jin. And then think about what I was talking about in Are You Safe? If you hadn't had a chance, go and watch the entire episode of um, Exits. Really cool, really important. We appreciate you guys. Thank you guys for the love that we've been getting at the village and also on King Kong Palm. Uh, you guys have been commenting about that as well. So once again, if you could like and subscribe, smash that like button. Let everybody know that this is something that everyone should be uh, learning and getting down the road of enjoying that stuff. So enjoy yourself. Be safe. Thank you very much. I appreciate all the time that you've had. This one was a short one. Thank you guys very much and have a beautiful, beautiful, blessed day. You know how I feel about my turtle homies, you know, longevity. That's why turtles live for a long time. So it's really cool um, to see them over here just chilling, enjoying the sun. Beautiful California day.